In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a nice little money play out of the Rams offensive playbook. Talk a little bit about scheme development and what goes into it. And uh, hopefully this is helpful. Now, the Rams playbook, I think, is one of the more slept on playbooks in Madden uh, because of some of the features that it has in it. Real quick, if you guys want to get all of my Madden 23 offensive, defensive ebooks, take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it literally walks you through full offensive and full defensive ebooks over 25 different ones working on a couple new ones this week as well including uh, I dropped a brand new video breaking down the best blitz in the game that nobody knows about and uh, we're gonna be doing an ebook out of that formation later this week so make sure that you're in the patreon it's only 10 bucks and I guarantee that it'll make you a better Madden player if you want to sign up the link is down in the description so the Rams playbook has a lot of really really valuable uh, offensive formations. It has single back wing pair. It has ace close. Uh, this ace close is actually really, really underrated. Um, it has deuce close, ace close. It also has this wing flex close. I think wing flex close is a really good, really, really good formation. Um, it also has a lot of good, like what I call uh, 11 personnel, third or 11 personnel under center, such as double south, tight Y off, doubles Y off close, bunch X nasty. I believe this is the only playbook. I think the Vikings playbook also has it, but this bunch X nasty is one of the best offenses in the game. It has bunch tight end from single back uh, with some really, really cool concepts out of that. It also has like single back Y off trips uh, and single back trips. So there's so many things that it has from an under center perspective. It also has a lot of really cool, unique things from the shotgun perspective. The split wide receiver backfield is a really, really good formation, especially if you have Hot Route Master, you can create on the fly some of the best concepts in the game. This tight Y off week is really good. It's got a lot of different things, a lot of different cool, uh, unique routes. It has a lot of really good compression stuff, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Um, the tight doubles here, this is a great formation. It has a lot of, it has a really nice sharp corner routes that beat main coverage well it also has um this uh, y off trio week which i think is super slept on it's like a spread out bunch formation um and then also has bunch it actually has one of the better bunches in the game uh you could run speed dig you could run smash return you got vert the good verticals pa dig fork i mean there's a lot of really good concepts uh we know that it has mesh post why trail um let's see if it has flood i think it does yes flood so i mean this has a full uh, gamut of different bunch plays that are really 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 good uh, you can create bunch trail out of y trail so y trail is all you really need uh, so really good formation and then also has tight slots tight slots we know is one of the best formations in the game it has mesh spot it has post will drag the one caveat is it does not have the flood play uh, but it does have bench so uh, and then as this tight slots have back week and that's what we're going to spend our time on today uh, tight tight or i'm sorry tight flex uh, this tight flex is super good, super valuable. It's got a lot of unique routes within the formation. And we're going to give you kind of one of my favorite plays in the game today out of the play cross. So tight slots is, or the reason tight is meta this year, a couple reasons. First one is the alignment by very nature makes it more difficult to send pressure at it. Um, even though people, I think people would say like, yeah, it does, but it's just a wonky alignment. Like, because everything's in tight here, you can blitz it, but sometimes they literally just bump into people. Um, I've seen it happen a ton. Sometimes they just bump into people. Uh, this time they don't, the pressure comes in, but sometimes they do, okay? Also, it has a lot of good play action plays, like um, this PA post shot, you could freestyle out of tight like, like no other. Um, so I can do a lot of different things from a freestyle perspective that's also going to help me uh, pick up the pressure. Now, the third reason that I think tight is really good is because it dumbs out a lot of match coverages. Um, match coverage is, is good against tight, but it's not great against tight. Uh, and also, the other thing about it is the receivers get to their landmark much faster in tight sets. What do I mean by that? Well, if I want to run, if I want to run a horizontal, horizontal uh, or a, a, a one-sided flood to the left, all I need to do is streak Michael Irvin, and if I have Hot Rod Master or Slot Apprentice, I can put Tyreek Hill on that corner, and then I can drag Daniels, and then I can post CD Lamb, and I can have this. So this right here, because they're coming from incompressed, they get there faster, and it's harder to press the receivers. And so as you can see, it really opens up the offense, okay? 
So the best concept from Tai this year, and I think every year, is a simple one that is really, really effective. And that is the ability to essentially pin the user in the middle of the field. So the way that we're going to do that, and you could do it in a variety of different ways, we're going to use, uh, utilize this play cross. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Michael Irvin, we're going to put him on a streak. So the left side receiver is going to be on a streak. From there, um, you can honestly do it however you want to do it. Uh, I really like this little mesh right here on the left. Uh, I think that it's actually very good. Or if you don't want to do something like that, maybe you want some extra protection, all you need to do is take uh, Daniels here, and we're going to put him on a out route, and then we're going to put Tyreek Hill on a slant. So it kind of looks like this. And this is basically, for all intents and purposes, the slant post concept. But it's the slant post concept from tight flex that beats man coverage in a way that is unique to tight flex. Now, another way that you could actually get at the same thing that's actually interesting is you could do this. You could run Owen Daniels on the post, and then you could motion CD Lamb outside and still have that clear out streak. So now you almost have kind of a nice little double, double post concept here. So if the user goes to one, you can throw that other crosser coming over the middle of the field. Super valuable, super valuable. Now, you could also just run it like this. I think you need a streak this year to pull any kind of quarter zone. Um, this right here is really a great setup. And if they do run main coverage against this, Notice these little mesh routes, little cross routes. They just get separation, man. They just get separation against man. It's hard to run man coverage against against tight. It really is um, because they just they just bump into people all the time. They really do. So what they have to do defensively is they have to start dropping people to the sidelines, little hard flats or something like that to try, try to take away these crossers. And then if they press a short out elite, we know that short out elite will absolutely destroy any kind of press man coverage. So this is one of the reasons why tight flex has got a lot of things you can build around uh, with it. It's got this play. It's got a PA play, play action play. Um, it's got some interesting little wheel routes and crossing routes. Um, but anyway, this this is kind of just a simple uh, little little concept from, from this. Now, I haven't shown it against anything other than man, so let's show it in zone. What's nice about it in zone is, and this is where you can freestyle a little bit, Zone is all about, like, where does your route run to? So if they run to the same spot, it's not the best. So, like, you see here, like, if a hard flat can guard both drags, it makes it significantly easier for the defense. And I'll show you what I mean. So if this is cover four and this is a hard flat, I'm just going to watch this play. You're going to see here that these drags actually will get guarded by these, these shaded down zones. And then now the user is able, the user is able to simply, if you look at this play, all the user would have to do is guard this route. Now, then that would cause you to have to throw this in a tighter window. You might be able to throw this route, but it's unlikely. Like, that's the main thing that's open. So the way that you can kind of tweak the play and tweak the setup is go back to what I was saying in the beginning, where we're just going to take Tyreek Hill, put him on a slant, and then we could take the running back, and we could put him on a, you know, some type of block and release flat or just block him in general. Uh, and what this does against a coverage like that is now this slant is getting into a spot on the field that zone coverage can't really guard. Um, you can't really guard a drag, a slant, and a post. And that's that, I think, is what really makes this play go when you do something like that. Um, and, again, you can just block the running back. I like to put him on a block and release flat. You can do all this without Hot Rod Master technically on this specific setup. And then the beauty of this little, uh, this little kind of crosser as you see where it runs to, gets into a soft spot. I got to throw that a little bit earlier. Um, but this this play is super, super good. I'll show it to you against uh, cover three real quick because uh, we didn't give any looks against cover three. So, again, if they're not playing hard flats, you can throw your drag on the left. If they are playing hard flats, you can probably throw your slant. And then if the user runs to the slant, then you can throw your crosser. So really nice little setup here on a wide receiver cross. or I believe that's what it's called here. Let me make sure. <laughs> um, but anyway, if you want to get more information on the tight flex, make sure you check out the Patreon. I'll be dropping some stuff out of it later uh, this week. But anyways, yeah, the play cross out of this. Rams playbook's really valuable. There's a lot of good stuff in it. I encourage you to check it out. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link is in the description.